Hello, and please forgive my rather croaky voice today, which I'm sure will come across in the narration. The problem of source auto margin has popped up again in the Roots Magic forums, and this problem has been around now since the introduction of Roots Magic 4, which was back in March 2009, so almost six years now. Now, historically, Roots Magic had a good reputation for listening to their users and responding to problems quickly, but in recent years, this has slipped, in my opinion, and that's leaving many essentially small problems and unfinished features just not being addressed. This source auto-merge problem is one such example which for some reason never gets addressed. Keeping duplication under control in genealogy software is a big problem and many Roots Magic users are wasting precious time unnecessarily trying to resolve such duplication in other ways. In the Roots Magic blog back in 2010, Bruce Busby reported, and I quote, fixed problem where some identical sources wouldn't auto-merge. Well, that is certainly not the case, and I will demonstrate that now in the hope that Rich Magic does finally fix this problem. I'm going to keep this very simple, where the issue of any slight differences in the source can be dismissed as a source I will be using that's going to be created through an automated process. So here I have a spreadsheet with 10,189 marriages, which was extracted from a database. So that gives us 20,378 individuals. I'm going to create a JEDCOM imported into Roots Magic, so each individual will have a birth event and a marriage event. So that adds up to 30,567 expected events. Each marriage event will have the same identical source and, of course, a different citation. So I'm expecting 10,189 citations, one for each couple's marriage event. So let's create the JEDCOM and import it into Roots Magic. Here you can see the code. The source citation is here with the variables that are being written out to it. Um, the actual source is here, so it's identical in every single case. And even the source template at the bottom is all, it's going to be identical as well. So let's create that. The JEDCOM has been created. I'll flick back to Roots Magic now. So here's our JEDCOM file. Just select that. We've got a brand new database, nothing else in it, and we'll open that. Don't want to add any additional sources. Just let's chuck away at that. Okay. So we've got alternate names and all that was all put into the code. So let's have a look at the file properties. So what did we say earlier? 10,189 individuals, that is correct. 20,378 people, that is correct, and 30,567 events, again, that is correct. So everything's perfect at that point. So without touching anything, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export to see that JEDCOM, okay? Just leave everything at default, exporting everyone, off we go, and we'll export it to here, uh, text file 2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import that again onto the existing database. So everything's going to be identical. Nothing has been touched. Nothing has been edited. So let's go find the file. So text file 2. I'm just going to do combine into this database. Nothing additional here. And off we go. Okay, that's that complete. So obviously, without doing anything else, you're going to expect the file properties to change considerably. So we've now doubled our people, we've doubled our families, we've doubled our events, and we have um, doubled up on most things apart from places, citations, etc. So now we want to test out Roots Magic's um, tools, merge, automatic merges. This will smart merge, it will share merge, it will source merge, which th this will automatically merge all duplicate sources in your database, and it will also repository merge. Now this go takes a little while to run, so I'm going to start it off, I'm going to edit out the bit in the middle, and cut to the end. Okay, so that's all the auto merges run. So what are we expecting? Well, I'm expecting the original file properties. So 20,378 people, 10,189 families, 30,567 events, and the citations, of course, should be back down to 10,189. So let's have a look. So we go to properties. And now we can see we still have the two sources. 
and the citations are still doubled at 20,378. Okay, so it didn't merge those. Let's have a look at the source list. You can see there's the two identical sources here. You can see the right hand pane, absolutely nothing changes. We know they're identical because they were created in an automatic fashion. So let's try the auto merge button, which should merge these sources. The answer is yes. And it doesn't. Okay, so the other option that we have here is to manually merge these. So let's let's do that. Uh, so we pr click merge, uh, select the source to merge, and then click here. So select the second one. Do that. Comes up with a confirmation dialog. Merge duplicates. We can see that they're absolutely identical. And there we go. We're back to one source. So what about citations? So back to file properties. We have one source, but citations are actually still up at twenty thousand three hundred and seventy eight. Okay, I can hear Rich Magic now saying, Oh, you have to try database tools, that'll probably fix the problem. So let's let's go through that. So database tools, we'll run them in the order that they're designed to be run in. Okay. 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 Okay, let's have a look at properties now. We still have the 20,378 citations. Let's have a look at one of the individuals. Uh, yep, there's the marriage. And it's got the two identical source citations. So that hasn't been cleaned up. And therein lies the problem. That's what people are complaining about. That's what's been on the forum for the last six years. And it really does need to be sorted. What else can we try? Let's try one last thing. We'll export this file. Okay, export everyone. And we'll export it to. So we'll send that out and then we'll see if we can import it into a fresh new database, whether we still have the duplicate citations. Okay, so file, we're gonna close this. File, new. Okay, completely blank database. We're going to import the JEDCOM, which we just filed. We know where it is. So test our JEDCOM file. You see by the, the, the duplication, even the JEDCOM file size here. So we'll open that up. Nothing else there. Okay, let's have a look at file properties. Still, the citations are 20,378. Let's have a look at the individual. Still, the duplicate sources. That's the problem. That's the problem that's been on the forums for the last six years. Um, it's a problem that's wasted a lot of time for a lot of users. And really, you know, it was reported back in 2010 as being fixed. It's not fixed, and it needs to be fixed. So Roots Magic, please recognize this problem and fix it so users can move forward with their research rather than repeatedly having to regurgitate this issue in the forum and discuss it back and forward and all the time that that wastes. Whilst it pains me to do it, I have to have a look and see how Legacy will handle that same issue. So here we have Legacy 8, import, JEDCOM file. So this is our last one that came out, um, test JEDCOM final. Okay, so the import's complete. Go to merge. So the latest JEDCOM file with the duplicated citations has been exported into Legacy. We can see the marriage here. It's the same couple in focus. If we just flick to the sources, we can see there's one marriage citation now. If we go to file properties in Legacy, we can see the number of individuals is back down to 2378. Families 10189, as we expect. Alternate names 10189 as we expect. Master sources 1, but importantly, the citations is now down to 10189, where Roots Magic duplicates that to 2378. So, slightly tongue in cheek, the quick way to fix the Roots Magic duplicate source issue is to use Legacy.